Hey, it's Noel Christopher with Renner's Warehouse here. Uh, for everybody who's concerned about me videoing while I am driving, uh, I'd just like to, to let you know it's about the equivalent of talking on your speakerphone while you drive. So uh, I, I'm not holding my phone in my hand, I'm not doing anything like that. So anyway, on to the point of the video here. Uh, still getting a lot of great responses in my first video about don't believe the hype uh, on a lot of these uh, news articles that are coming out on the real estate market. Um, for me, it's not about the data being incorrect. It's more about uh, misleading headlines to get people to click on articles. And, and you know, Housing Wire actually puts out some great data, so that's not it's, it's not about that. But it's really about looking at the real estate market and taking its pulse at any one time on a micro level and not taking really a macro look, a view. Um, and then the transverse to that is uh, looking at it too much on a macro view and not looking at your individual markets. Um, it's so hard to generalize real estate numbers on a national, state, or even a city level or MSA level. I mean, you look at an MSA like Chicago, it's got five, six submarkets that could have different housing economies. And so it's important to take a step back and take a look individually into your market. And, you know, somebody, a friend of mine put this to me uh, recently. Uh, I'm a ski racer. And uh, if you took my pulse um, at the end of a ski race and my fastest run, uh, my, my, uh, my heart rate would be about 157 beats per minute. Uh, would that indicate that I'm having a heart attack? Would that indicate that I need to go to the hospital? Because if my pulse was going that fast at any other time, it might be an issue. Um, it's kind of like the housing market. So the housing market's been on fire. It's been racing. It's been going crazy. And now um, it's slowing down and everybody's thinking that this is a sign of, uh, uh, of a downturn. Um, there are a lot of factors that could affect this. There's a lot of factors that uh, we may not know about. There's been a lot of things uh, publicized about uh, car delinquencies and credit card debt, those are all serious issues. Student loan debt, those are all serious issues. Those are things we need to look at and be cognizant of in the housing market. Um, and then you've got people like Gary Vanderchuk who's saying, why own a house? Why not take that money and invest into other houses? Uh, so, you know, take that money and invest into, into investment properties keep yourself liquid and you might have a uh, better opportunity. So I just want to throw some of these things out there. Um, I'm always interested in a geek about the data. So I like to post things a lot about data uh, and that's all I have to say right now. Thanks. Bye.